2062. A dark megalopolis run by corporations and corrupt politicians. Nine-year-old orphan Tina has made the streets her home. She scavenges for a living, inventing new uses for scraps. Her only friend is SAM-53, the big clumsy robot assigned to her at birth. He will do anything to protect her. SAM-53 must protect Tina. Today, Tina and Sam will discover something that may change their world. Get a free robot. A forgotten dream a that will set them on an incredible journey. The journey to Encodia. of 7 degrees Celsius and cloudy, with 0% chance of rain during the day and 73% chance of rain in the evening. Would you like to hear the news? Morning, Sam. I have printed out today's to-do list. Would you like to go over it? Yeah, yeah, sure. For today, we need to procure the following. Oil for Sam 53. A new pair of socks and food for you, and a waterproof patch for our shelter. All right, then. Let's get going. broken floppy. Excuse me? Uh, uh, yes? Who are you? And what are you doing here? I'm Eku, but don't tell my name to the police. At night, I'm a professor at the University of Neo Berlin. But since the salary is very low, during the day, I... Well, I'm a dealer, an unauthorized cyber dealer. Why are they paying you so little at the university? Because Mr. Rumpf, the mayor of the city, doesn't care about edu that corrupt bastard. I hope he won't be re-elected. Me too. What are you selling? Pots and ends, implants, gadgets. Any food, robot oil, socks, a waterproof patch? Nope, sorry, nothing. Damn. What do you teach? I'm a robotics professor. I teach design and fabrication of flexible use small scale bots. Sounds nice. Sounds cool, but I should go now. All right, take care. Nice! 
It could work. It might work. Hey, something fell down. Hello there. Hello, big robot. What can I do? something that I can consume? No, I'm sorry. I only cook food for humans. The best of Japanese tradition, mixed with good old Teutonic flavor. You mean bratwurst dipped in soy sauce? You see? I knew my recipes were famous all around the world. Anything else? Can I have some food for this little girl? What would you like? The Panzu Pretzel. It's 16 credits. I don't have any. Then come back later. What is this place? Per my database, it looks like a ramen ye circa 1978. Indeed. It's the ramen shop of Chef Hayao, which would be me. Painstakingly designed to replicate 20th century aesthetics. Of course, it's all plastic, but who can afford wood these days? Anyway, it looks good, doesn't it? I've seen better. Pa, you robots, you have no taste. Anything else? Nothing. Bye! Excuse me. What do you want, me, God? Don't you see I'm busy? How much fish do you have in that bucket? It looks bottomless. It's not a bucket. It's the end of a very long pipe that goes deep underground into a salty, artificially sucking fish up. Wow, amazing. For real? <laughs> no, I mean... It's just a looped animation to save disk space. Anything else? Do you have any free food or leftovers for me? Does this look like a soup kitchen? I only serve paying customers. But I don't have any credits. Come back when you get some. It's a privilege to enjoy my fine cuisine. It's indeed such fine cuisine. I'm just sad that I can't try it. It's a pity indeed. Such aroma. Rich, pungent. Oh, yes. It's just a tiny hint of your culinary genius. Indeed. It'd make me so happy to try even a tiny taste of it. Oh, okay. Here you go, little god. Take this Bavarian marinated fish. It's from yesterday, but it shouldn't kill you. Thank you. I'd better go now. Good luck, little god.
Hey, there's a rusty cyber cola can in here. robot doesn't talk a human language. Howdy, pal. How are you? Do we know each other? Am I your cousin? Mm, no. So leave me alone and keep that disgusting human away from me. You truly are a nasty robot. What? If I move the cursor above you, it says Nasty Robot. So what? I'm sorry they programmed you this way. I'm sorry they programmed you to be with that human all your life. She's actually pretty cool. A human? Cool? <laughs> you must have a phone deposit. Oh, I actually like my job. Sure, if you say so. I can't understand how you could like humans. I'm just waiting for the robot revolution to exterminate all this pinkish organic waste. Better than to be a lonely pile of junk steel. Hey, watch your mouth! I'm a successful street sweeper! It must be very exciting collecting trash all day. Isn't that what you and your human do all day? Um... <laughs> and... Whatever. I don't have time to waste. What? I need robot oil. Do you know where I can find some? Uh, I usually get mine from a bot dispenser, not bot. Where is it? It's in an alley after the crossroad, but it's for street sweeper robots only. It won't dispense anything to nanny robots. I see. And I guess you won't help me. No way! Besides, I can't go anywhere. My RAM is faulty. What are you... You mean besides making fun of clumsy family robots? Yes. Well, I can't go anywhere. My RAM is faulty and I need a new one so that I can go back to my street cleaning job. Why don't you go get one? Because I'm stuck here. Without RAM, I can't calculate how to move around this dirty city. I barely have enough capacity to insult fat nanny robots. I'm not fat. I'm just big bone. Sure, sure. Everybody says so. Okay. I've had enough. Goodbye. scavenging. I don't have a father. My mother gave birth to me through artificial insemination, but she abandoned me when I was very little. My model Sam took care of me until last year, when he was shot down by the cops during a chase. Now I'm on my own, and I quite like it this way. Wow, it's a truly harsh story. Mine is very similar, but luckily, I still have my Sam. We should team up. Nah, I've... now let me be, kid. I don't want the police to notice us. Hi there. Hey, kid. What's up? Do you know where I can find 
the token by the elevator? What for? Well, I want to see what's on the terrace. Been there a few times. Nothing interesting. You must have had a lot of tokens then. Uh, not really. I just have one, but it's rigged, so I can use it multiple times. Cool. Can you let me use it once then? Uh, I don't know. Please? Well, I like riddles. Do you? Sure. Okay then, if you tell me two secret words, I'll give you the elevator token. Challenge accepted. Here, take this holographic prism. Show you secret words that hackers have hidden around Neo Berlin. Cool. Where should I look? The first word is hidden on a big door. The second one is disguised by a foreign language. Um, okay. I'll think about it and look around. See ya. over there. I'm enjoying the view of the Brandenburg Gate. I never understood why it's so big. Were there giants in ancient times? Yeah, everybody was six meters tall. Now leave me alone. I'm busy. Seriously, what are you doing besides making fun of me? I'm Lixie, a city electrician, fixing the screens of this street so they can show Mr. Rump from the camera. Ugh, I hope they pay you well. Not really, but can't go. City maintenance was a task for robot workers. It usually is, but not if it involves electricity. Robots can go totally nuts if they get electrocuted, so it's better to rely on humans for these kinds of jobs. I see. Nothing. I should go. Bye. Those are not for free. Those are not for free. I can't reach them. Fine, you can get one for free. I've got a bunch of these. You could take one. Hello. Hi there. Dick Bates at your service. But aren't you too young for CPU overclocking or dynamic mobo modding? Uh... Looking for a Tesla PSU? Liquid state hyperdrives? Micro PCI ultra low profile? Uh... 
nitrogen coolers, thunder ethernet, use SATA boosters. I guess it's better that Sam handles this dude. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C patent 18. Need a quantum cooling system? Cleaning your Amos vision sensors? I'm Dick Bates, and I'm here to help you. Dick Bates? I don't know why, but it sounds familiar. Not as familiar as Darut Sandstorm, I bet. What? Oh, forget it. Anything I can do for you? An expansion of your AGP slot? A heat sink upgrade? Is talking like this good for your business? Oh, yes. My typical customers love acronyms, difficult words, and light-emitting diodes everywhere. By the way, you should get some to install around your body. No, thank you. I don't want to look like a Christmas tree. What can I do for you, then? An update on your firmware? A turbo ALU tuning? I'm searching for a can of robot oil. Oh, I don't sell this here. There may be some at a bot dispenser nearby. Unfortunately, that dispenser is only for street cleaner robots, not your kind. Oh, too bad. I need to keep looking then. Something else? A new control bus or ROM implants? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Yes? Sorry, but I should go. All right, take care. This automatic door is broken. It won't open. It seems broken. Something must be missing. Yes! for me. A plaid shirt. Pretty intact. Not there? So what if it's not there? Keep looking! I need to get to that server now! The cyberspace breach is unrelated? It is his signature! Yes, eight years later? Do your job or do I have to come down there myself? Unrelated. <laughs> Incompetent, every one of them. Hey, this looks 
lasagna looks good. What's up? So, about the ring. Yes? I found the two words. Nice. Let's hear them. Blue Scott. Yes. Congratulations. Here, take the elevator token. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. It was fun playing with you, kid. Same here. I'm sure we'll meet again. Someday. Maybe. But not before you turn at least ten. Bye. Goodbye. This robot doesn't talk a human language. What? Can you help us if I give you some RAM? If it doesn't involve changing diapers of stinky humans. I just need a can of robot oil. All right, give me the RAM. Here. Hey, this RAM is 288 pins. My socket is 184. You clumsy nanny bot! I was sure your model uses the 288 one. No, oh, I'm rigged. Anyway, I can't do much with this. I need an adapter. Okay. I'll see if I can find a 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter. All right. See you later, Mr. Never Skips Legs Day. Ugh. AM53, you're pretty worn out, mate. For That's because I've been living on the streets. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's lucky they use waterproof paint to coat. It sounds like you are familiar with my model. Yes, at night I teach robotics at the... But listen, I shouldn't be talking with other robots. Polino is very jealous. Who's Polino? My pet. But really, I cannot talk anymore, sorry. Nothing personal. Excuse 
Excuse me? Uh, uh, yes? Do you have by any chance the 288 to 184 pins RAM adapter? Of course I do. I keep hundreds of items within the pockets of my jacket. Awesome. Can you give it to me? Sure. It's 79 Neo Berlin credits. But since I like you, I sell it to you for 59 credits. I don't have any money. Is there something I can barter with? Um, maybe I can trade it for a capacitor. Sometimes you can even find capacitors on the ground. But I don't want to leave this corner. I feel safe here. So if you could get one for me, I would be very thankful. Okay, I'll go look for a capacitor. And if I find it, in exchange, you'll give me the RAM adapter. Yes, good luck. About that capacitor. Uh, uh, yes? I found one. Here, take it. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Here's your RAM adapter. Very good. Nice dealing with you. My pleasure, little girl. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. Here is the 288 to 184 pins adapter. Oh, well, should I say thank you? Because I won't, but I guess I owe you one. Follow me. successful day. I'm pleased to report that I'm at 34% charge. Oh no! Huh? I still don't get why they raided our shelter. According to my calculations, there is an 87% chance that the intruders searched for an object they were unable to find. We have to find out what happened. I believe if we look around the rooftop, we may find clues. S-59. Good evening, S-A-M-53. 
What can you see from up there? My high-res setting has a 158.6 degree view angle, and I can zoom up to 50 times. It means I can see you've been loitering around today, and that's forbidden. I should report you. Considering your camera system, is there any chance you recorded what happened here in the last few hours? Most probably, yes. And is there any chance you can show me? Not really. My recordings are property of Neo Berlin Police. You are not authorized to access them. It's very important. The well-being of this little girl may depend on it. I'm not programmed to care, you know. I understand. Something else? Isn't it boring, flying back and forth that way? No, it's very cool actually. I can see lots of naughty things. Like what? Oh, this morning I watched a hungover electro rat. It was puking all over a cyber addict's shoes. Very funny. Um, I do not find that entertaining at all. Is this what you report to the police? That, and things like a robot and a human living unauthorized on a rooftop. Uh, I think I better change the subject. Yes? Oh, nothing really. I better go. Wrong. said they were looking for a robot with a secret code in it. Yes, there is a 98.8% probability that they were talking about me. But I've scanned my system already, and I haven't found anything. I think Mr. Rump was pretty dumb, but he has his eyes everywhere. So I don't think they were talking about another Sam. It must be you. Correct. But you don't know what they were talking about? I'm afraid not. They said Rump himself sent them. Why is the mayor looking for you? Mr. Rump won't send his private goons for minor crimes. That's what regular police are for. But I really cannot tell what could be hidden inside me that is so important. Maybe a hacker broke into your hard drive while we were sleeping. No, there's no trace of external access to my files. They didn't come to book us for loitering. But for you, you must be hiding something. I've searched in my data. I found no trace of anything secret. Don't you have a hidden sector accessible only by your makers? I have a drive partition dedicated to manufacturer performed maintenance. But last time I went in for maintenance, you were four years old. And anyway, it contains only standard protocols. Nothing can be hidden in it. They didn't come to you must be I've searched. Have you analyzed your system? Is there anything damaged? I have. My system is 100% functional. If they didn't you must be I've searched. Is your memory intact? 
Can you remember everything since you were built? Of course. All of my memories, as well as yours, are stored safely. Can you go over them from the beginning? Deep scanning everything? It'll take a lot of time. How much? Two seconds per year of your life. You silly machine. Go on then, do it! All right. Um, well... What? I found a set of corrupted data. Something I should remember, but I don't. It's like... Blur. There's also a video, recorded in the same time period. A video? But what about the secret code? I'm afraid I don't have access to the secret code. What about the video, then? I'm programmed to show it to you when you turn 10. I can't wait five months. I want to watch that video now. I'm afraid I can't. Sam, you're programmed to protect Tina. If the police take you away from me, how can I survive all alone? You have a 34% chance to survive on your own. These are not good odds. You see? We must find out more. Show me the video. All right. But I need to recode the video schedule to bypass your birthday. How long will it take? Five seconds? A couple of hours. Oh, gosh. Happy 10th birthday, Pumpkin. I love you so very, very much. And I wish I could be there with you. But if you're seeing this, it means I'm gone. And my work isn't finished. I have a mission for you. I know this isn't a burden a ten-year-old should have to shoulder, but I need... No, no, the world needs you to see this mission through. I'm sorry I can't speak plainly and make it easier for you, but there are people who know what I'm doing and they will destroy my work if they ever find it. So in case something happens to me, I've designed its controls to respond to your DNA and to your DNA only. Inside Sam's memory is a code. Use it, and you'll find everything you need to finish my work. How to release it into the world, and save them all. I love you, Pumpkin. Be brave, my little warrior. Tell your mom I love her, and that I'm so sorry I can't be there with you both. I had a dad? Sam, I need this code. Now. I'm sorry, Tina. I do not have the means to access it. Assuming the message is accurate, however, if we wait until your 10th birthday, the code will become accessible to you. No! I won't wait five months. It is only logical. My parents are dead, Sam. But I had a father. I'm not just a donor baby, Sam. I need that coat. If he needed me to complete some mission, he must have left some other clues. The message was recorded eight years ago, Tina. It doesn't matter. I need to find out who he was first. This information should be available at the Neo Berlin Registry Office. Then let's go. Thank you. 